Hi, I'm Stephanie Mansour with Start Today, and today I'm going to walk you through an easy 10-minute upper body strength training workout. We're going to do this routine with dumbbells, and don't worry, I'll be showing you how to do every exercise. These are my favorite upper body, arm, and back exercises, and we're going to go through each exercise 10 times and then repeat the entire round for three times total. So let's get started. I'm using three pound dumbbells, but you can start with one pound dumbbells and go all the way up to seven or eight pounds if you're looking for that sleek and toned look. We're gonna start with bicep curls with an external rotation. So standing with your knees slightly bent, abs in tight, we're gonna hold those weights at your sides, externally rotate at the shoulders, and then curl up towards the shoulders and lower down. Exhale up and lower. Make sure that you're hugging those elbows in towards your sides. So the only thing that's moving is the lower arms with the weights coming up towards the shoulders. Good. Four more. Here we go. Nice exhale. Three. Good. Two. And one. Rest. Now we're going to move into the overhead press. So hold the weights at your ears and open out into a goal post position. Abs in tight. Softly bend those knees. Exhale, press the weights up over the head and inhale lower. Great job. So a common problem I see my clients doing this incorrectly is because they're overarching their back. We don't want to do that. We want to pull those abs in, knit those lower ribs down towards the hips. And when you're looking forward, make sure that you can see the dumbbell in your peripheral vision. Good. Here we go. Last two. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale rest. Now we're going to move on to the tricep kickback. So if you feel like it's a little jiggly back here, I've got you covered with this move. We're going to hinge forward at the hips slightly, hold the dumbbells down at your sides, then hug the elbows in towards your sides, shoulders back. And this is our starting position. Now we're going to kick back and come to center. Good. Exhale, kick back, come to center. I want you to act like you're punching a hole with the bottom of that dumbbell into the wall behind you. Exhale back, inhale center. Good. Five more. Here we go. And exhale back and center. Abs in tight. Back and center. Good. Back. Last one. Here we go. Back and center. Rest. Good. Now we're going to move on to the lateral raise. Now we're going to come back to center here. Abs in tight. Softly bend the knees and exhale. Reach the arms up just as high as the shoulders and inhale lower down. Now you want to make sure you're really using control here. So you don't want to flail the arms up or quickly, too quickly bring the arms down by your side. So we just lift up to the shoulders and lower down. Nice job. Lift up and lower. Good. Five more. Nice job. Relax those traps. We don't want to engage the neck here. Only the shoulders lifting up. Good. And here we go. Last one. Exhale up and lower. Now we're moving on to the final exercise in this series, which is the V for victory, except we're not doing it like this. <laughs> we're going to hold the weights down as wide as the hips, abs in. Exhale, V for victory, up as high as the shoulders, inhale down. Nice. So I want you to feel like you have accomplished something. This is a victory. Just getting up here and doing this upper body and arm routine is a huge, huge win. Make sure you relax the traps here. We're only using the shoulders. Lifting and lowering. Three more. Three and lower. Great. Last two. Nice job. And one. Rest. Good. All right. Now shake it out. So that was round one. We're going to do two more rounds. Let's go. Standing with your knees softly bent, externally rotating here for that bicep curl. Good. I'm going to pick up the pace here. Exhale and inhale. Good. Now you may find that the weights get a little bit harder or feel more challenging over time. If that's the case, then go ahead and downgrade, lower your weights, grab those one pound weights, or even do this without weights. We're going to move into the overhead press here. So pressing up and back to center, up and center. Good. If you start using your neck here, if you start hunching your shoulders because it's too heavy, drop the weights or lower the weights to a smaller number. Good. Four more. Four. Nice. Three. Make sure you can see these weights in your peripheral vision. Here we go. Last one. Rest. Now I'm going to turn the other way for this round of tricep kickbacks so you can see. We hug those elbows in. We kick back and center. Exhale. 
Center. Make sure the shoulders are relaxed. You're looking forward in front of you, a few feet ahead of you, looking at something that's not moving on the ground to help with balance. Here we go. Three more. Good. Last two. And one. Good. And rest. Nice. Now we're gonna move into that lateral raise. So here we go, reaching out to the sides and up as high as the shoulders. Good, exhale. Remember, we do not wanna use that neck, okay? We're not trying to become massive bodybuilders here. We don't need to work the traps in order to work the shoulders and the arms. Here we go, we've got two more, two, good, and one. Last exercise in this series is that V for victory, lifting up and lowering. So I really want you to focus on the mind-body connection here. How does it feel to accomplish a workout? How does it feel to be in tune and in sync with your body? It feels good, doesn't it? I want you to focus on that as you're doing this exercise, especially because I'm calling it V for victory. Last one and rest. Okay, two rounds down, one to go. Let's do it up here. So we're gonna externally rotate, bicep curls, good. Nine more, here we go eight exhale out seven good and six keep it going for five four i'm proud of you three good two and one overhead press weights are as high as the ears we press up and center good up and center abs in tight remember drop these weights if it's getting too heavy exhale we got five more here we go five working those shoulders four nice job three Good, two, and one. Next up, tricep kickbacks. Leaning forward at the waist. Hug those elbows in. Kick back to center. Kick back, ooh, I'm feeling the burn, are you? <laughs> We're working the backs of those arms. You're gonna feel so strong and extra confident in your sleeveless tops, in your dresses, and even in your pajamas or when you're by yourself in your sweatshirt. You're gonna feel nice and toned. Great job. All right, here we go. Lateral raises for 10. Good. Exhaling. Good. Really sinking that breath with the movement so this almost becomes a moving meditation. Good. Here we go. Five more. Exhale. And lower. Four. Nice job. Three. And two. Great. Last one. Rest. Our final exercise for our final round. That V for victory. Let's go. I'm proud of you. Good. We got the V and lower, V and lower, Woo! V, make sure those shoulders are down. We're working the shoulders, but we're not rounding the shoulders or hunching the shoulders up. Great job, here we go. Last three, good, two, and one, woo! Great job, you did it. That was your upper body arm workout. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.